Good morning guys, my name is Sandy. This is Sawing with Sandy. Welcome back if you guys have been around the channel for a while. What I'm doing is I'm standing out, funny enough, in the red pine forest where I often find myself because that's where I cut lumber. What I'm doing today is I'm going to take out a few of those red pines, not to mention a little spruce and a white pine, in order to make room for my log deck for that sawmill right there. The log deck is basically a platform that I can load logs onto with my tractor over there so that when I'm out sawing, I can focus on sawing and less so on sawing, loading, sawing, loading, etc., etc. I'm just a one person operation, so I like to have all the logs sort of sitting there waiting for me. Then I just roll them onto the sawmill when I want to cut and continue and continue. One other reason I like to use a log deck is if you guys can imagine, every once in a while I pick up a log and if I were to take it over to the sawmill and set it on just with the tractor, there is the potential that I get a little clumsy and I bump something on the sawmill or drop the log by accident on the sawmill and that could cause some serious damage. So having a log deck, that's what I load all the logs onto and then I just roll it on with my, with my cant hook and some ramps right onto the sawmill. Anyways, that's what we're up against. The red pines were taken out today. That one right there. This one right back here. We'll take out this white pine, this little spruce and any other stuff right here. There are some other trees right in this vicinity of my new saw shed, uh, like these three red pines. I will take them out eventually, but I'm not going to take them out today. What can happen, especially in the warm months like right now, if I cut these trees down and they hit the ground, let's say I even cut them up to length. If I let them sit there too long before I get them over to the sawmill to mill, I can get boring insects that go into them. That, that allows moisture in there. You get some staining. And although that may look nice for some furniture, it's not going to look nice for my dimensional lumber. So I'm only cutting down what's absolutely necessary to give me the room to then start building the log deck. With these red pines, I'll get the lumber for that log deck. Next time around, we will build the actual log deck. Today, we'll get them to hit the ground. We'll get them bucked up, get them over to the sawmill, and we'll make the actual lumber so that we can start building. Just on that point about uh, getting logs onto the sawmill, if you uh, weren't here last time or maybe the time before, you may not be familiar with this. It's gone. The very first version, my very first sawmill, my HM130 from 2017, it's gone. I sold that. I don't know how I feel about it at this point. I almost feel like I should have kept it just for the sentiment. Um, but anyways, it's gone. Now I have a big open space here. I'll figure out what's going to go in there. But I think for now, we'll just be stockpiling lumber. So that's it. We're on to this one. Bigger and better things. Anyways, guys, welcome back. It's raining. It's buggy. But we'll make the best of it. Here we go. Don't laugh. I couldn't find a matching pair of gloves. I don't know about you guys, but as long as there's a left and a right, I figure I'm good to go. Anyways, we're going to hook the winch up and I'm going to use a uh, pulley down there, a snatch block. What I'm going to do is just put a bit of tension uh, or at least a, a protective measure on the trees I'm going to cut down. Worst case scenario is if I cut it and for whatever reason it doesn't fall the way I want it, it would fall back on my building. And trust me, I just built that, but I didn't build it for nothing. So we, uh, we don't want to have a tree land on it. Okay, here we go.
Right, guys well two red pines are on the ground those are the ones that I'm gonna make the lumber out of for the log deck now I've got 10 foot sections here they're actually about 10 foot 3 inches I'll cut a little bit off the ends when I uh, come down to building likely but 10 foot 3 10 foot 4 sections I've got eight of them uh, I'm gonna use the bigger ends here down at the trunk end I'm gonna use that to make the horizontal pieces and then we'll sink the rest of them into the ground as posts now that's going to be a whole other episode getting them sunk into the ground so make sure you tune in for that but first things first let's get this all cleaned up i'm going to use the grapple collect the brush push it off to the side for some chipping at a later date then we'll load up the logs and we'll probably pile it somewhere over there once that's there then we're back to the sawmill and we're making some dust here we go
holding my breath on that one. I was watching it continue to creep. I thought I was going to jump right off the log bunks.
All right, guys. Well, I'd say things look pretty good here. I can tell you one thing. It is hotter than blazes out here. 40 degrees Celsius is the Humidex. Temperature, we're in the mid-30s. So uh, Humidex is more or less just humidity and the temperature combined. Feels like I'm taking a shower mixed with hot temperatures, if you want to break down what that's like. For those of you who live south of me, you'll probably experience this nearly every day. As a Canadian here, I don't experience this every day, but this time of year when I do, I certainly feel it. We got some timbers cut, as you guys can see over there. Those are true six by sixes. And so these are going to make up the log deck that I'm going to be building next time around that I hope you guys join me for. These timbers will be going in the ground right over here, probably right in this location. Got to figure that out. Then we'll put the uh, timbers across the top of the posts after I get the holes put in. Now, the way I'm going to put these holes in is a little bit different than maybe some of you would. I do have a post hole digger, a hand one that I could dig the holes with, but I want to try my chainsaw. Not that one, wherever it got to, but my Hulls Forma, my G660. If you guys have been around for a while on the channel, you've seen that before. I'm going to get that, uh, well, I'm going to get that digging holes for me. If you don't know how that works, be sure to tune in next time. That'll be happening right here. Get the holes in, get the timbers in the holes, get the timbers across the posts, and we'll be laughing. We'll have a log deck. Guys, thanks for joining me. Stay cool. Be sure to subscribe. Give this video a like, Roo, and I'll see you next time.